Hello again. It's June 10th, 2013. And I just finished up with my flow through worm bin and I thought I'd give you a chance to see it. I did quite a bit of checking on YouTube looking at different designs. Presently I have a nested uh, system that I use for my uh, compost worms and while it works it's extremely difficult to get the castings and cocoons and worms separated and it's just extremely labor intensive. So after looking at the different designs on online um, I came up with this and I think it's going to work pretty good. There are different ways to do this and this is just my adaptation to what I've seen online. It's a standard 13 gallon trash can that I purchased at the Home Improvement store and like other uh, posters I have put PVC pipe uh, front to back on the unit and these turn each pipe turns individually um, I've seen other ones where they have a door on the bottom and you, you reach in and uh, some people use their fingernails to scratch the castings down. That didn't appeal to me. Um, as a matter of fact, this year I did put a door uh, on the unit, but I, after I got thinking about it last night, I, I'm, I'm getting too old to crawl around on the floor with dust pans and whatever you, they have to get the castings out. So took a different approach. Um, on the inside, take the top off here, I'll get a light. On the inside, I took individual lengths of PVC pipe and I drilled holes and put in 16 penny common nails. I cut the heads off, ground the points down a little bit and it just makes a nice support. They're spaced about one inch apart and I can take and, and turn each pipe individually to scrape the castings and let them fall below. Uh, I've made these pipes so I can uh, I make everything now or I can take it apart, change my mind and you can see the screws. I just take screws out here and I made some small collars on the back to go around the, the pipe and they're screwed in place as well. And the collars and the fittings up front help the unit from spreading apart or disforming from the weight of the, the material inside. But I think this is going to work pretty good. Kind of eager to try it. Now the other thing that I didn't care for was the fact that I have to get down on the floor every time to remove the castings when I harvest and, and that just didn't appeal to me. So it, it just worked out well uh, and by the way everything I have here is recycled material. I, I tend to keep everything I guess and uh, all the pipe fittings uh, I had and all the pipe I have from other projects uh, it's too bad I didn't have one more L or T here. I had to use an elbow, but the price was right. What I did was I sealed up that access door, and I had this other uh, little uh, plastic uh, container, and it just matched up pretty good. And I, I put two springs on the side, and I just take one spring here and one spring here and after I harvest the castings I simply lift this off and the castings are there. I have a hole in the bottom of the pan voila and you can see up in the bottom and that's how it's going to work. I, every, and everything is gravity it just falls out into the collection pan and I don't have to get on the floor or worry about dust pans or anything else. And these little notches here just it worked out well. Lock into these feet on the 
the bottom of the trash can and it doesn't wiggle around or move or anything else. It seems to index and lock on there pretty good. I mean, even without the springs, it, it, it doesn't uh, seem to be too uh, disagreeable. And so I put it back on there. And again, the springs were from another project. I just simply put that spring on there, spring on there, and I'm done. Put the pack, top back on, voila. So that's it for now. Uh, I appreciate your time. I'm headed down to take my uh, nested worm containers apart and uh, transfer the material over to this and see how this works. Have a nice day.